Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and now we have Surf. What do we do once we get Surf? Well, I like to go back and hit some of the key locations that we weren't able to access before, but now we can. And that includes all the way back to Asparagus City. <clears throat> there is some goodies to be had even in this early part of the game. And we'll go ahead and surf right here. And here we go. Our first item that we didn't have access to before. Um, let me go ahead and put repel just in case. I don't, I don't want to get caught by any uh, Pokemon. So let me go ahead and let's see, where would it be? It'd be in this pocket, that's right. Um, all right, we still have Repel from earlier, so I'm fine with that. So Asperger City is the first location we would like to um, check out. Then we're going to head over this way and I believe Route 19 has some goodies for us too. So let's uh, hop on our bike and ride on north. Alright, so yeah, here we go. So yeah, a lot of these locations we were able to, you know, see bodies of water. But we weren't able to do anything other than just, you know, see those bodies of water. Now that we have access to Surf, it opens up many of these early routes. It opens up what we can do. So up here, this is where um, Alder was hiding out. But you can grab an expert belt right here. Remember, he jumps down from this location. Now you can come back and see what it looked like from his point of view. And the nest ball. Alright, so go ahead and hop back on our bat. And this time we'll actually go to Verbank City. Alright, and here Trying to remember how you get over. Is that our last max repel? Yeah, it was. I need to buy some more real quick. <clears throat> but you can see that this has got a lot of water. We weren't able to access it before. But now we can. And it's always good to stock up a lot on the max repels because those are going to help you out in the long run. In fact, I'm going with 40. Might say it's overkill. I say it's beautiful. All right. So now we just have to find um, how to get to the waterway, I think, if I remember correctly. You can see the bridge back there and the item. I just have to, here we go. No, it's not this specific one. There's somewhere that lets you get down to the waterfront. Here we go. This is the location. Yeah. Deep blue water. It's like a weird shade of blue, though. I do have to say that. It's a weird shade of blue. And then we find a rare candy. 
And now we can fly to the next location. So, uh, the next location I would like to fly to, I guess, is the Relic Pass. Because there is some goodies to be had down there. And we'll go to the uh, PWP or PWT Pokemon World Tournament to get there. We'll head back down. It's over this way, that's right. We'll head back down into the passage. And the location you want to go is this location here. And we should automatically see the water right here. Yes. It's always it always opens up quite a bit whenever you can go back and get items. Now we have the big pearl. Uh, the next item that I would like to get is the cast is in the Castalia sewers. Seems to be a lot of things that open up down in the sewer system. So we'll just go down there, see what see what there is. Oh yeah, that's right. Can't. Now I've got Dig, that's right. I've got Dig. What am I doing? I don't need any uh, escape ropes. So I can just dig my way out. Alright, next up is the Castalia Sewers. There we go. And once we're done with the sewers, I do want to check out uh, Mr. Alton Cave. And then we will continue on into Mr. Alton City. I want us to start by uh, taking care of things elsewhere. But yeah, it seems like forever since we've been in the sewer line. here they pump the water out oh, wait a second well I guess that's fine I was ready to surf but it seems like the water line is low enough that we don't even need surf interesting oh and what that does is it actually does cut off some locations See, we can't go across these boards to get to certain areas. All right. Um, now I'm just gonna use my escape rope. That way, I don't have to tear up the Castalia sewer line. But that that was kind of disappointing. But oh well. We did at least explore it. Um, next up is uh, Mr. Alton Cave. And Mr. Alton Cave, we've seen the location in Black One. You're going to see that it is quite a bit different now. We can actually surf this way and grab some items along the way. All right, heart scale. Don't mind if I do. And we'll go up this way. We can just surf directly north here. And there should be... Did we already grab that item? 
I suppose we might have. I think there was an item there. But now what we'll do is just uh, run this way. Run around this person, run around this lady. Run to the uh, right. And hop on our surf. Now, Miss Droughton Cave is pretty cool. It is a pretty cool location. Grab the fling, TM. Uh, there are some interesting Pokemon that you can catch there that I do really think would be a good uh, addition to your team. Uh, this is the only place that you can find Axu. Axu being pure dragon. And once it evolves, it has really good attack. Sky high attack. Haxorus is so good with its attack. And then also, this is where you can come across Aaron's. A rock steel type. They eventually evolve into Agron, who is very good. I love Agron. Um, the only thing is that it's dark. And I think... Let me see. I think I've got... Do I have Flash TM? I do. Who has a move that I don't mind losing? It looks like Lemon's the only thing that can learn it. And I could just teach you Light Screen. I, I could teach Light Screen back to you. So I'm fine with that. I think that would actually make good sense just to go ahead and teach you flash because that's going to make it so much easier to traverse this cave all right here we go so the big part of this puzzle is moving some of these boulders into place where it'll open it up and like i said there are really good pokemon down here agron being one of my favorite hoenn pokemon it's always been up there All right, so we're gonna battle our first trainer here. This is Hiker Shelby. Only has a Bulldor. Uh, you know, sturdy is annoying, but really we should be fine here. No, we, we really should be fine. Uh, that is unless we miss, but I think we should be fine. We we missed. Mm, that wasn't fine. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna try it again. Come on, Hazelnut. There we go. And we resist Rock Slide. So we are good. We are Gucci. Let's go ahead and throw a payback. To finish this thing off. Get some much needed... Much needed uh, experience for Hazelnut. Nice. All right, and I do want to uh, switch because I do think it might make sense to uh, level up. Um, actually, no. D based on the Pokemon I'm going to see down here, it might make more sense just to stick it out. But I do need to heal up Hazelnut. All right, uh, next boulder. Push that into place. And this guy will not let you down in here until later on in the game. Post-game content. Like I said, I'm not really going to do much when it comes to post-game content. Because from what I have uh, noticed, the post-game content a lot of people don't seem that interested in the post-game content. So for me, it makes more sense just to stick with you know, what people are interested in watching. And then maybe later on do like a stream. So that way, the people that are interested in post-game content, they get to see that. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to uh, Payback. So this is Onyx. You've seen Onyx. Smackdown, Dragon Breath, Slam, Screech. Not the... Not the most threatening Pokemon. 
No, I'm going to high jump kick. One thing to know though, it is fast. Onyx is a surprisingly fast Pokemon. It has really good defense. You know, I, I did that first move under the assumption this thing had uh, sturdy, but I guess it doesn't. It had rock head. All right, we'll grab this. All right, now we'll run around here, and we'll go up to the next, whoop, next floor. All right, so here uh, we'd have to activate strength again to push this boulder. And from there, there should be, yeah, green shard. That's where it's at. Um, there is a trainer here that actually would be fine with lemon taking on. So we'll go ahead and switch out. Oh, bless me. Yeah. Now you run around. Here. Actually, let me go over here. There's a trainer that I want to fight. I want to go ahead and battle this trainer. And then we'll go and uh, continue forth on the adventure. But for now, let's battle this person. This is the person that has uh, Tortuga, Crunch, Wide Guard, Brine, Smackdown, and an Axu. Now, Axu is going to be kind of. makes me a little bit nervous, but. Not too bad. <clears throat> I've got things that can deal with Axu, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, for Axu, I do want to give Prunes some more experience. Would not want my Prunes to fall behind. And Prunes looks like it's about to level up anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, fly. Up into the sky. What's Axu going to do here? It's got... It's got Dragon Dance. That's what it's going to do. Slash, Fall, Swipe, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance. So, hopefully we can, uh... One-shot it here. Oh, it's got two Dragon Dances. Not going to lie, I'm actually kind of scared about this. Um... Venoshock to finish it off. Oh my Lanta. That was scary. We do get to level 31, however, which is good. It's always good. Yeah. Burning these max repels. Now we can go this direction. There is an item we like to grab down here, a Hyper Potion. Now we head up here, we can push this boulder into place. And let's push this boulder into place, it just opens it up quicker. Now there's something I do want to grab from up here. This right here is Ace Trainer uh, Bella, she's got Archon. Which lemon should take uh, make quick work of. Archon, it's fast. It can hit hard, but if you're able to knock its health down to half, you 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 basically just shut it down. No, we're faster anyway, which is good. And this will one shot it. Good. All right, Lemon, level 32. Next up is another Axu, and I'm actually going to do... Let's get Hazelnut out here. I do not want that thing to set up. <clears throat> My problem was the last battle, it, it, it took a little bit of... Um, it took a little bit of setup time. I don't want that to happen again. We'll high jump kick it. It should one-shot it. 
That is if we connect. If we don't connect, we just have bad luck. There we go, nice. Aksu has been eliminated. And Hazelnut's getting close to an evolution. So I'm actually excited about that. No, I don't want to battle you. Alright, and we grab a blue shard. Now let's go around this way. And we will go up to the third floor. Now the third floor, there's uh, not actually trainers. You might notice everything's lit up. Makes it a lot easier to deal with here. An escape rope for convenience sakes. Um... Is there an item over here? Oh, it's gotta be, right? Yeah, there it is. Now we will now go around this way. Oh, and I just stepped on a, a something. And it luckily was a flying gem. Instead of a wild Pokemon. We grab Rock Slide. Rock Slide actually would uh, come in handy. If any of my Pokemon learns it. I'm always suspicious about some of these rocks that just kind of exist right there. I'm always suspicious. And we push this bad boy down. And now we talk to this guy. I've been searching for the Pokemon Cobalion for decades. I wonder if it still hates humans, or maybe it looks at this world where people in Pokemon coexist and have thoughts about it. That was interesting. Grab a Dragon Gym. I don't know if anything of mine learns that, but we can come up here, and this is actually where we found Cobalion in the first set of games. They even got the little slag tights up there, really adding to the environment. I was under the impression that might be a gem. I, I kind of got spoiled by all the gems. But, surprise, surprise, the last one I went to poke was an actual Pokemon. And one that I can't even touch at that. Anyway, that is pretty much all there is in here. We'll now dig our way out. And we will fly back to Mistralton City. And with that, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Today was kind of a go back, do some unfinished business in locations that we have access to now because of Surf. And we've done that. We've checked that uh, box. So we'll go ahead and get some medals from Mr. Metal. We've got the Dowsing Specialist. Specialist? What am I talking about? Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Next time we'll do stuff in the city and eventually get to the next gym battle. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you in the next Pokemon video.